Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today we are going to talk about China and the United States and uh, the game, so to speak. We'll talk about blueprints and sensors and space-based programs and talent programs and all kinds of things because it appears that uh, somebody was picked up. This person, currently a U.S. citizen, uh, but was born in China. And um, this person is alleged to have been employed by a private company that is uh, just listed as the victim company. Their name has been withheld. And this person was copying trade secrets. The uh, files in question were, quote, allegedly transferred, include blueprints for sophisticated infrared sensors designed for use in space-based systems to detect nuclear missile launches and track ballistic and hypersonic missiles, and blueprints for sensors designed to enable U.S. military aircraft to detect incoming heat-seeking missiles and take countermeasures, including by jamming the missile's infrared tracking ability. Yeah, um, that's, uh, that's important stuff, obviously. This is, this is higher-level stuff. It is interesting to me that all of it is being treated as trade secret so far. Um, it, that, that may change because according to uh, the U.S. Attorney's Office out there, the person in question had previously sought to provide the People's Republic of China with information to aid its military, stole sensitive and confidential information related to detecting nuclear missile launches and tracking ballistic and hypersonic missiles. Okay, so this is information that if it got into uh, a hostile adversarial nation, uh, obviously would cause problems. There are also allegations in some of the reporting about the suspect having uh, been involved in talent programs. That's exactly what it sounds like. <laughs> um, and those programs are run, in this case, by the Chinese government with the desire to recruit people and give them financial and social incentives to bring their talents to China. Yeah, the number of files in question is uh, at least 1,800. It looks like by some reporting up to 3,600. Uh, my guess is there's going to be a, a defining line, like something happened and 1,800 more were taken. Um, we, we don't have a lot of specifics on that yet, but the files, according to the allegations, were transferred from a work laptop to personal storage devices. There is no word as to whether or not that information went further than those storage devices yet. Uh, this is probably going to evolve into a, a larger story and will cast a lot of light on some shady practices by both the U.S. and the Chinese government um, when it comes to not just talent programs and stuff like that, but also how private companies sometimes are more involved with national security technology than most of the public might believe. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.